to do JDBC with Postgres, you need that JDBC Postgres driver. The purpose of the driver is to take the language that the JVM speaks and the language that Postgres speaks and create an interpreter between them so SQL statements can go back and forth. It's not hard to download the PostgreSQL JDBC driver. In fact, just find it over on Maven Central MVN repository. I've got Postgres JDBC driver here. 42.7.4 is my favorite version because it doesn't have any of those red vulnerabilities in it. I'm going to click on the link. You can see the Gradle coordinates. I'm going to create a Maven project. So I'm going to copy those Maven coordinates and then I'm going to head over into my IDE of choice and just create a Maven project. Now you can use IntelliJ, you can use VS Code. I'm not rich. I can't afford them. I have to use the free and open source Eclipse, but hey, it works for me. I'm going to create a, a simple Maven project. com.mcnz.sql will be the group ID and PostgreSQL example will be the artifact ID. I'll click finish. And then I'm going to dig into that Maven POM file. And when I go into that POM file, there's no dependencies in there. It is just a, a nice, simple Maven project. I'm going to add that dependencies tag. And then inside of that, I'm going to paste in the dependency that I copied from the Maven repository. Click Control Shift F to do a little format. And now, those Postgres drivers get downloaded to my local system under my users uh, profiles m2 directory. And if you don't believe me, you just have to open up the Maven dependencies right there and you'll see that PostgreSQL jar file. It's been downloaded to my local file system. And if you want to dig through and find the driver class, you're more than welcome to. Now, there is one other configuration change I'm just going to make to this project because it's something that sort of annoys me. Um, but in these projects, right click, build path, configure build path. The build path here is going to have the compiler set to Java 1.8. That just doesn't work for me. <laughs> so I'm going to change that to 21. Click yes, click apply and close. And now with the knowledge that that Maven dependency, that the JDBC drivers are now on my local file system, I can move forward with creating some code that actually connects the database, specifically using the PostgreSQL JDBC driver. And taking a look at that is exactly what we're going to do next.